Good morning. Well, my sisters and brothers, we are, we are here again in another intense racial reckoning moment. It is in these moments that expose the lies we tell about ourselves, about the kind of nation that we are. I like to share a sort of interesting juxtaposition of the various stories we tell about African Americans. It's just a sampling of stories we love to tell about black people, about America. The slavery was abolished. We love to tell the stories about the origins of the, the black church. I learned about Phyllis Wheatley and Harriet Tubman in elementary school uh, in America. And who doesn't know about Rosa Parks and her refusal uh, to move to the colored section of the bus, a seminal event that led to the Montgomery bus boycott. We love the stories about Dr. King and the March on Washington, or the sort of rags to riches stories of people like Oprah Winfrey, uh, and of course, Michelle and Barack Obama. But there are stories we do not tell. Stories of grinding poverty, stories of a grotesque system of segregation that went on for over a century. There are stories about lynching Thousands upon thousands of African Americans were lynched in this country, and this went on for decades. These lynchings were attended by hundreds of thousands of white Americans observing the spectacle of violence. Or what black person does not feel terror at the sight of those blue lights in their rearview mirror? Stories of an African-American woman being arrested one day and dead the next. Or how the spectacle of death hangs over us. In every era, on every turn, there is pain, trauma, and nihilism. That's the part of the black story we often don't like to give voice to. So the black faith tradition tries to do an array of things, whether it is inspiring compassion, goodness, understanding, whether it is helping us to grapple with deep questions of meaning as we try to make sense of centuries of grinding racism. Faith is also a wonderful resource that even serves as a corrective when religion goes wrong. And so one of the great legacies of the black faith tradition is that uh, it actually teaches us how to correct the very thing that we love. And so I sort of describe black faith as, uh, as a dance with hope and despair. I'm from a part of the black faith tradition where uh, when we get the spirit, we, we shout, we dance, we move. And so embodied spirituality is just a deep part of the, of the Pentecostal tradition that I grew up in. It is the tradition that retained those Africanisms. But faith is very much a dance with hope and despair. There are songs in our tradition that says, we shall overcome, I know it. Deep in my heart, we shall overcome. There's also a song that says, sometimes I feel like a motherless child. And so we are going to have this important conversation this morning and joining us for this conversation. And I am so honored to have Dr. Johnny Bernard Hill, who is the founder and president of the World House Forum in Raleigh, North Carolina and the senior pastor of Gethsemane Missionary Baptist Church. He has previously served as the dean at the Divinity School at Shaw University, 
where he founded the Center for Racial and Social Justice. He's also my old boss, the department chair at Claflin University, uh, one of the, our outstanding HBCUs. With the support of the Lilly Endowment, he established the Black Church Leadership Academy and the Awakening Campaign Initiative for Transformative Engagement. He is the author of a stellar book entitled Prophetic Rage, A Post-Colonial Theology of Liberation, and the first black president, Barack Obama, Race, Politics, and the American Dream. He has studied at Duke University and Garrett University where he earned his PhD in philosophical theology. Ladies and gentlemen, will you welcome with me Dr. Johnny Hill. And after Dr. Johnny Hill presents, Sheila Wise Rose will join us uh, virtually. She holds a master's degree in counseling and hails from Boston. She has lived in Paris and Johannesburg, South Africa. For over 25 years, she has been a counselor, spiritual director, author, and speaker. She is a truth teller who writes passionately about matters of faith and emotional healing. She advocates for the dignity, rights, and healing of abuse survivors, those carrying racial trauma, and racial reconciliation. Sheila has taught trauma healing and psychology at several colleges and the Africa Peace Institute in South Africa. She is the author of the award-winning book, Healing Racial Trauma, the Road to Resilience, and her newest book, Young, Gifted, and Black, A Journey of Lament and Celebration, will be released next year, February 2022. Will you welcome with me this morning, Sheila Wise Rose. So here's how the rest of this first hour is going to go. They're gonna be brief 10 to 12 minute presentations, beginning with Dr. Hill, followed by Sheila Wise Rose, and then I will circle back around uh, and present on nihilism as well. There will be a musical interlude, uh, and then we're going to have a conversation that you will have an opportunity uh, to engage in as well. So put on your seat belts and take a deep breath and go with us on this journey. Thank you. <laughs> 